<laughs> okay, just hold on. Hold on for a second. No, no, hold on, gentlemen. Just hold on for a second or two. Dr. Let me get Valera. your response. No, I'll, I'll say this quickly, Dr. Valera. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, anybody has a right to be a cause, and I salute your boldness for saying it, and we're not arguing about that. My position is slightly different from Dr. Barron's position. My position is in terms of political strategy and communication. The CUPP has missed a chance to use the endorsement to galvanize. You see, by publicizing the process of endorsement, you would have brought in more people into the tent beyond the occult group. By saying, in two weeks' time, we're going to endorse, and these are the four or five things we're going to be looking at, you will have given the candidate a better chance to be attractive. You'll have been sold better. It is legitimate to be a cult, if that is the style. It is legitimate not to invite presidential candidates, if that is the decision. But beyond the choosing person and sharing the role of president and vice president, those who made that choice have failed in the class of how to use political event to galvanize. Okay. Dr. Byron. Yes. First of all, let's... Please, I look at to, no you respond okay, okay. but let's look at these steps yes. you made you talked yes. about and yes. he responded to it yes. step one or step two that's, and three that's what i want to refer yeah. to yeah so step two and three step two there's the cvp selection company shall invite yes. all participating parties yes to present their presidential candidates yes did your party go to present me no this at least not physically they didn't present me okay. then secondly look at step Three, subsection B. It says, the presentations made, that was the third stage, the presentations made by each party and its candidate. There is a presumption that the candidate was, and you see, the truth of the matter, and where the problem started is that, the understanding was that the CUPP would have made its selection before the 19th, when they lifted the ban on politics. That was the whole idea, that it should have made its selection political campaign. And then, and before political campaign. And then secondly, please, Nigerians shouldn't get away with this thing that it is only Atiku and uh, Buhari. It, it, the, the, the 2019 elections is not about Atiku and Buhari, it's about Nigeria. Were your members, and were your members, were members of COA at this very uh, uh, selection process? We were not in the selection process. Our secretary is the, is the second PRO. To the, um, to the to the to the steering CUPP. committee, CUPP, but informed. he was pardon. And he wasn't informed. He either. was not informed. But messages are usually yes. sent out uh, at times like this so, to just about every other individual who forms members of the party. But they were the not. CUPP. They were not sent out. Generally, our secretary was there. He was diligent, but you know he was virtually and almost sidelined. I am not even sure that our chairman was invited to any meeting. Okay. So the, the okay. truth of the matter, the truth be told, is that, you see, a lot of, th th there's a lot to be said about transparency. We are going into a new Nigeria. Koa Party does not belong to the old Nigeria. We don't belong to the old ways of politics. That is why our primaries were transparent. Why should we subject ourselves to, to, to transparent primaries? Build a history of integrity, and then subject it to court. As uh, my, my, my senior brother is saying. Do you, do you, w w he will respond, but you, yeah. do you hear why he said the members of the steering committee are not known because they, they, they don't want them to be susceptible to being bribed? But some people knew them. Some people knew them. The people, that means that they wanted to, they, you see, that's the whole idea. If everybody, that's why transparency is good. If a few people know and the rest of us don't know, then that's when they will be subject to being bribed. They could be induced. We don't know the members. Well, is, is, is Koa Party uh, represented there? Okay, let so the whole idea is that when you decide to have a conclave to choose and nobody knows who they are, and then you come out with a decision, I agree. You know, to be honest, it doesn't mean this, I mean, there are other levels apart from the presidency that the CUPP can work together. They can work together for common pooling agents. They can work together at the state level. But as long as they have gone through this process that is defective, highly defective, I would say, then they have lost the opportunity and they have lost the confidence of other presidential candidates. And I dare say, to a large extent, they have lost the confidence, that group. And I won't blame PDP. 
because I want to separate CUPP from PDP. PDP is just a beneficiary of the intransparency of CUPP. Are you mindful that yes. 41 members who are they? parties well, uh, endorsed this who are they? out of 45? Look, if people endorse something, they must endorse it with a signature. You get my point. You go ask who endorsed it when that endorsement was announced. Well, but doctor, as long as they've not come out like you to say they're against it, we okay, must it's assume, I, 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 we I, must I, assume I, I, they I, are well, for it's it. True, it's okay, true. Let, let's well, you get, see, the point let's, is this. Let's get Dr. Fa 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 okay. to respond yeah. to this. Yeah. Dr. Fabalea, that notion that the members of the steering committee were kept secret because they were, they were, you were trying to avoid them being induced in any way whatsoever, do you think that's what should be brought forward at this point in time that everybody's looking at a different way of doing things going forward? We're mixing apples and oranges here. Okay, that's One, clear. The steering committee, everybody knows all the members of the steering committee. The selection committee was the committee that I said was so called. That is one. Uh, if need be, I want to offer our reserved apologies uh, to uh, COA party and all the other parties that feel. Um, so aggrieved about this. However, just as Dr. Byron said, we're going through a metamorphosis of growth in our political uh, atmosphere in Nigeria. New things are happening, new things that we don't even, uh, we didn't anticipate before. The large majority of the politicians around grew up in the old, uh, ways, and we're trying to get into a new form of politics. It's a, a, an evolution of sorts. Now, if we make mistakes on the way, we just want to make sure that when it's pointed out, just like uh, Dr. Byron said, there are so many other things that we can do together in, car, in CUPP. And CUPP is totally independent of any party whatsoever. We want to remain so because there, there, there are so many commonalities between the parties uh, enjoined in CUPP. Uh, but if anyone's raw nerves were stepped on, I, on behalf of CUPP, want to offer our reserved apologies. We will go on. We did not do anything wrong. I mean, at that time, but it was in the heat of the moment. All these things are really temporal. And we're trying to do our best. 